good morning everyone thank you for starting the day out with me all right here we are again the holidays have arrived the thought of it already being thanksgiving time and christmas less than a month away can mean many different things to people for some this is a joyous time for others it's a difficult time our tv happiness coach marbeth dunn has some great tips on ways that we can beat the blues Marbeth, it's a pleasure to have you back with me this morning. Thank you. Happy to be here again with you, Jenna. Marbeth, as I just mentioned, the holidays can be a very difficult time for some people. It, it's not a joyous time. And I know you have some great tricks that can help those people beat the holiday blues. What are they? Number one is to redefine what the holiday means to you. You may feel obligated and overwhelmed by having to do preparing a whole huge holiday dinner and it doesn't feel right to you. So reevaluate what's going to feel good to you. It might be bringing in prepared food. It might be having a potluck. It might be going out to a restaurant for dinner. The important thing is that you feel good about it. And for example, my daughter throws a holiday party every year. Last year, she was feeling about halfway through the party like she was done with it. I said, honey, you don't have to do that this year. Let somebody else throw the party. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we have those choices. It's like we, we make ourselves do so much unneeded work. We make ourselves miserable. Well, we have a, a sense of tradition mm -hmm. or this is how it's always been. We don't have to do that. We can create our own tradition, mm -hmm. something new, something mm -hmm. wonderful. And something less stressful, too. Always important to do the less <laughs> stressful. Definitely. All right, so that's one of your tricks. What's the second trick, Marta? Plan ahead. You want to plan ahead so that you have time for yourself. And I think it's important to take every three or four hours to take 15 or 20 minutes for yourself. Get outside. Look at these beautiful weather, well, a little bit of liquid sunshine, too, <laughs> but the beautiful weather we have at the Keys, it's so magical. Just go outside, breathe deeply, listen to some soft, soothing music, just get out and look at the, the beautiful vistas here in the Keys, mm -hmm. and you're going to feel different. And if you do this every three or four hours, you're going to feel energized and refreshed and eager to be meeting with other people because you're going to be taking care of yourself. I like that. So take some time for yourself, look around at your surroundings, and be thankful. Be thankful. Of mm -hmm. course, this is the season of gratitude. Number three is volunteer. It, Mahatma Gandhi said, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. Mm -hmm. And what better time of year to volunteer if you have extra time to volunteer and serve a holiday meal at a homeless shelter mm -hmm. or volunteer with an organization that's helping children, whether hospitalized children or underprivileged children, homeless people, or even animals. You know, there's so many different wonderful organizations that are here, and it's impossible to feel stressed or depressed if you're serving others. That is so true, Marbeth, because when you can bring a smile to someone else's face, and then you get to see that smile, you also can help but smile. And I feel like at that moment, too, all of your stresses, all your worries, they would just diminish. Well, studies have actually shown that when you are doing something nice for someone else, you go out of your way to do something for them, your serotonin level goes up and their serotonin level goes up and anybody watching this, their serotonin level goes up. Mm -hmm. You get that nice, warm, squishy feeling in your heart mm -hmm. and it just feels, oh, that feels so good. This is the time of year, and we should do this every day, really. Mm -hmm. But this is a wonderful time of year to feel the gratitude of, and really appreciate ourselves and appreciate others. Mm -hmm. Just take that time. That's right. Tis the season to be thankful, Marbeth. <laughs> and those are great tips, so there's no excuses to not be happy this holiday season. Well, you know, there are the people that have experienced the loss of a loved one. And they are going to be feeling that sense of loss of missing them. I would say in that case, honor yourself. Take time to just let yourself feel what you're feeling 
and get some support people around you, the people that will understand and, and help you through this time. Don't try to do it by yourself. Mm -hmm. Get the support from others. Yes. Marbeth, I can't believe it, but Thanksgiving, it's here. Christmas is a month away, and if people want more tips from you, Marbeth, they can check out your website, and also I understand that you have released an ebook as well. Tell us about that. I have a wonderful ebook called The Seven Steps to Get Unstuck and Unlock Your Joy, and it's absolutely free. If you go to yourjoyjourney.com, that's mm -hmm. y o u r j o u r n e y dot com, and you can just download this ebook for free, and it's great. It really is. It's it's. Um, a really good way to move through some of the things that are keeping you stuck. Wonderful. Marbeth, it's a pleasure having you on. I look forward to having you back on the show next month. Thank you. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but there is much more to come this morning. Stay with me.